Hello everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about what a VPN is and why you need it for Linux. So if you're someone who values their privacy and security online, then this is definitely a topic you'll wanna know more about. So without further ado, let's get started. Also, if at any point you'd like to give any of the VPNs that I'm gonna mention a try, you will find discount links available in the description down below to help you save some extra money. Now, let's start with the basics. A VPN or virtual private network is a service that allows you to connect to the internet through a private encrypted tunnel. When you use a VPN, your internet traffic goes through the VPN server, which encrypts your data and shields your online activity from prying eyes. Now, using a VPN on your Linux device can be important for several reasons. First of all, a VPN protects your privacy online by creating a private encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet. This is gonna mean that all your internet traffic is encrypted and shielded from any prying eyes, including your ISP, your internet service provider, government agencies, and even hackers. With the VPN, your online activity becomes anonymous and your sensitive information like your browsing history, search queries, and your downloads are all hidden from third parties. This added layer of privacy can give you peace of mind and allow you to browse the internet a little more freely without the fear of being monitored or tracked. Also, Linux is known for their open source nature, which means that it can be more vulnerable to attacks than other operating systems. But using a VPN can help to protect your Linux device from all these vulnerabilities and also keep it secure. And finally, a VPN can allow you to access content that may not be available in your region. For example, if you're traveling abroad and want to watch your favorite shows on HBO Max, a VPN can make it look like you're still in your home country and give you access to the same content. Well, now you might be wondering which VPN service should I pick? Don't worry, I've spent a lot of time looking into the VPNs currently available on the market and I got you covered there also. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch, they're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why starting with ExpressVPN. And this is gonna be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN. And Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries. And while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as threat protection, which blocks ads, malware-ridden websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of special servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, 
or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is the ideal choice for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions. Features such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. So that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions. I really like getting to interact with you guys. Like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or you'd like to stay up to date with our future videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.